Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Demon Souls Walkthrough Lore Through series, episode four. And uh, we're about to go get a big old lore dump right now. We're gonna go up here as uh, the maiden had instructed us to do. All the way up. And before, also, we want to uh, continue on in the next section, uh, we are going to want to die here in the Nexus. And reason being is because we want to control our world tendency. The world tendency is um, totally different than anything uh, FromSoft has put in their games. We'll talk about that after we talk to the money metal. There it is. Okay. Let's see either this way or the other way. Look at all these bros. Oh, it's gotta be the other way. Yeah, it's this way. My bad. There he is. Look at that. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the Old One. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the Old One back to his slumber, yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowmen. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. It's only a monumental that remains. By the power of the monumentals, the four sealed archstones have been released. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to accept this mission? So we're going to answer yes, but it's interesting if you answer no. I'll answer no. <laughs> yes, I see. That is unfortunate. You should know that you will be imprisoned in the <laughs> Nexus forever. Just like the poor Candle Maiden. <laughs> and then she laughs. That is super interesting dialogue right there, if you answer no. You must destroy all the demons if you wish to be freed from the That's curse our goal. Of the Nexus. We have to destroy all the demons. The old one, without the demons to feed its souls, will seek a new servant and lure you to its bosom. 
You must lull the old one back to slumber. For your own sake, as well as for ours. That's super interesting. We'll talk about that more as we go through the... You must lull the old... That's it. Now let's try to kill. can't really kill him, but I wanted to prove something. Dang it. You must love. Oh, man, I know you can do it. Come on. weapon but all right can't do it dang want to see that but it's okay anyway there's a bunch of goodies here uh as well so we're gonna go upstairs we'll get all of them when we do that but what our goal is is i something right here stone of ephemeral eyes that comes to life now i want to die in the nexus to control my world tendency so you're either so we'll talk about world tendency now um whenever you get revived as a human if you die in, a, in any of the worlds like the one we were in for example right um you it w so if you die in human form in a specific world it will take your world tendency down towards pure black tendency, okay? That will make the game harder. But if you go towards pure black in certain areas, they'll only, there'll be certain NPC quests. And we're going to try to do all of them, most of them, actually. There's actually one we're going to go do right now. Um... And then every time you defeat a demon, you'll get revived, and that'll bring the world that you destroyed the demon in towards pure white tendency. And only in pure white tendency, there's also um, certain NPC quests and things like that, and, and items, and really cool items that you can only get in either pure white or pure black. So let's die over here. As we want to control our... That did not kill me. Okay. Um, if we die in the Nexus, that's a way we can control our tendency. So we'll always be pure white, basically, if we die in the Nexus, as soon as we beat a demon. Because we we'll, won't be in human form. Perfect. We're totally safe to die in the Nexus. Totally safe. So we're going to do one of two... Uh, actually, we're going to do two things in this episode after that huge lore dump. We're going to get uh, an awesome starter weapon, and then we're going to go do a pure white tendency event in World 1-1, Boltarian Palace. So, I don't think we can talk to our mage friend. I have sinned. I swore allegiance to Saint Urbain, yep. but was of no use to him. And now I have run away and abandoned his honorableness. So Saint Urbain seems to be like Oh Lord, punish me. Somewhere. For I have not the strength to punish myself. Oh honorable one, I hesitate to imagine your present state. Deep within the he unlocks Saint Urbain no light he shall ever shine. unlocks more magic that we can buy. Will you continue to this pray? Is even in such misery. 
Oh, honorable one, lad, will you can... Yeah, that's all you can say. Let's talk to him. There's more NPCs. Oh, you must be another disciple of God. I, too, am on a quest to fight the demons in the name of the Lord. May I share God's power with you? Do not be bashful. We are both cut from the same cloth. So this is where we can actually learn miracles. Where we can buy heal. So let's read the lore. A simple expression of God's power. Holy warriors call upon this miracle during their lonely journeys. Cures the user of poisoning, a very elemental. Evacuate. Sends the user back to the Nexus. The Nexus binds the powerful souls. This miracle harnesses that power. Really interesting. Hidden soul. Hides the caster's soul, making it harder to be detected by black phantoms. We're playing offline, so it doesn't matter. But black phantoms probably land in Boletari and extremely dangerous and are rare. Uh, are the enemies of God and man alike. Let's continue. A miracle is a heavenly act. But spells are the acts of demons, <laughs> the work of soul art. So he's saying magic they have is the similar act of effects, and but miracles are the act of God. One is clearly evil, and the other is clearly good. Magicians, in the end, are mere servants of the demons. A miracle is a heavenly act. But spell they ma That's all I said. see. You wish to train yourself in stoicism. Very well. I pray we Thank you. Okay. I'll talk to her. See if she's changed. Back in the time that I lived below Boletaria Castle, King Alant left on some strange business, then returned with horrible demons in tow. King Alant. Soon. The land was ravaged by demons and soul-starved madmen. My spine shudders just to think about it. If so I King didn't have the my demons? miracle stone shot, what she's saying? a keepsake of my grandfather, I may not have survived. If I did not have my miracle stone shard, a keepsake of my grandfather, Let's talk to our bro. <laughs> You've gone and died, have you? If you die here in Bonitaria, your soul is returned to the Nexus. Well, what'll you do next? Going to just give up? No, not gonna give up. Don't worry about me. That's what I did. Yeah, well, you're a loser. I think I just lost my nerve for this kind of thing. Have you met the last surviving monumental? Yes, I did. Those fools revived the old one on a whim. And now they've trapped us here in the Nexus. In a monumentals of trap to undo their mistake. It's all really travesty if you This is the big lore episode. You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? It's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. We're welcome here. <laughs> you came for de- <laughs> Would you mind giving up that hairpin? I'd like to have it. I did that in, in my last episode. My daughter. I guess I didn't. You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Slack. Oh, I mustn't forget. It's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I'm a bit ashamed to say, but I found it one day, discarded on the main road. But it seems to possess a strange power. power. Hmm. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. Ring of Herculean strength. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch on your. Okay. We want to deposit more items because these sharp stones get heavy.
Ring of Herculean Strength, the ring that Stockpile Thomas once picked off the street, raises maximum item burden. Keep all the rings, just in case we need to. Um, does he have... These don't weigh anything. Those don't weigh anything. Oh, we're good. We're at 22 out of 86. That's pretty okay. Um, I'll keep the rapier as a second option. Yeah, we're good. You have a heart of gold. No, you have a heart Take of gold. It from you. And before we level up, let's go back here. Ah! Look who we have here. Are you here to face the demons? If so, please free Sage Frake the visionary from the dungeon. Sage of Frake. I will help you from however I can. I can Lacken. teach you elementary spells. Sage Frake is a gleaming hope for humankind, but I have not the power to save him alone. I will save him. I'm going to buy all these. Period. Flame Toss. Awesome spell. Um, Enchant Weapon. I'll save to get. I don't find Demon's Prank all that helpful, but I think I'm going to buy them. Cloak is pretty good. Slightly reduces damage taken. This spell is only effective against protecting the user from physical attacks. High level spell. Strengthens right hand weapon used with a catalyst equipped in the other hand. Enchanted weapons have magical properties making them effective against gold, armor, and hard skills that resist physical attacks. It's, enchant weapons really, really nice. Water Veil. Covers a user in sheet of water, slightly reducing fire damage. Fire is a common method of attack used in both natural and magical forms. The spell should prove quite handy and often. Demon's Prank. Generates a loud noise in a far off place. Has little direct effect in it, so the caster must think creatively to make effective use of it. I'll get Enchant Weapon. And we'll just get... The rest of these. And we can only right now have one or the other. We'll keep Soul Arrow. Actually, we'll switch to Flame Toss for this next area. Be careful how you use it. Normally, it would not be granted to one such so, yourself. You can't, since there's no bonfire here. I had to make an for the sake of Sage Frake. Okay, so he made an exception to teach us spells, but we'll talk to him too. Um, Are you begging for a ma Frake is a great sage who systemized the magic more, of the soul right? arts to make it possible for human imitation. By observing the state of Boletaria and the demons within it, he's likely to pave the way for greater things. All the more reason that I must meet Frake as soon as possible. Interesting. All the more reason. I see. See yourself. Okay. Just ensure that you rescue Sage Frake as quickly as possible. Got it. We will. Don't worry. He's actually. We're actually going to do a uh, event in Baltarian Palace to get the phosphorus full pole on the pure black print. Brave soul who fears right. not death. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. Blue eye stone, white eye stone. Eye stones temporarily connect to the diffused worlds should you lose your physical form. Remember the eye stone. The maiden controls inhuman souls. This power allows her to aid those who slay demons. What is it? Dost thou seek soul power? So now we can finally level up. So be it. After all, thou requirest strength. Go forth, touch the demon inside touch me. Touch the demon inside me. Let these ownerless <laughs> souls become thine own. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. So intelligence. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Affects MP, spell so memory, and physical defense. Magic enhances magic power. 
Uh, we're going to focus on that. We're going to get, obviously, some vitality, too, because we're a little squishy and some strength. But let's... Uh, now we get two spell memory. And we're good here. I'll that main... Actually, let's talk to her because we forgot to do that. This is Thou the lore episode. Soul, then As for me, I am only here to tend to the flames. I keep the candles lit and Super serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. Interesting. I keep the cat. Okay, that's all she has to say right now. I shall await thine return, slay or I am here. All right, now we're gonna get the nude knife, the crescent falchion. So that's this. Oh no, is it here? Hold on a minute. No, no, no. It's gotta be here, right? <sighs> I don't think it's on the shadow, man. That's the broken... This is really interesting. Look at this. There's a broken art stone here. Really interesting. Tower Queen. This is my favorite. This is Tower of Ladra. That's going to be my favorite. Uh, the Burrow King. We're going to do that. After we do one. I believe it's here. No. Not the Valley of Defilement. No, no, no. It's right here. Shrine of Storms. The Island of Shrine of the Shadow Men who worship storms and mourn the dead. Here's a storm beast fly above, and the souls of dead inhabitant empty skeletons move about freely. Yes, we'll go here. And this is... You don't want to go here <laughs> and try to fight it, the boss right now. Um, um, this is a pretty tough area at the beginning. But the noob knife, the Crescent Falchion, um, is an awesome magic weapon. Especially if you're a mage user. And it'll get, it'll get you through the first half of the game so easily. Let's use Flame Toss on this guy coming up. Because these guys... ...are hard. They hit like trucks. But... They drop shards of blade stone. We'll get the... ...more on that. A shard of ore wet with dew enhances knives, curved stores, and spears, and so on. An ore used to make weapons that skill that takes skill to rent enemies. Weapons can be strengthened at blade stones up to maximum of five. Using blade stones enhance weapons, so causing them to become brittle. So exercise with cause. That's why I picked up flame toss. Because. These guys are weak to fire, strong against magic. So we'll get some rates from him. There's two. One of them is an archer. Heal up. You see how they can quickly kill you. Draw blades down nice. Keep your distance. If you're following this walkthrough. drop a ton of souls, though. Ugh. Gonna have to do controller surgery on this guy. 
because, uh... <laughs> hopefully I'll make it out of here and not die. Uh, I'm getting it to... This controller is also stuck in the... Those guys are arrows over there. Spider Lotus. Talisman of God. We'll get the lore on that after we get out of here. Now, I'm being extra careful here because these guys hit, like, trucks. And you'll notice that demon right there. I fought against that guy. That is a trap. Careful. You know what, let's kill these guys up there. They're annoying the heck out of me. We're not going to get every item right now, because we shouldn't even be here, but I want to get the Crescent Falchion. Let's let uh, my magic... Oh god, this guy's really tough. I gotta get my magic to... Uh... Let's get some spice. Spice. And that restored our uh, magic. Shard of Bladestone. And the Crescent Falchion plus one. That's exactly what we wanted. Get six soul remains here. And uh, we're done here for now. <laughs> we do not need to do any more of this. Um, just want to check if there's any other items right around here I can get before we... Uh, do anything? I don't think so. And we got the copper key. Well, just want to illustrate it. Now, a simple copper key you can you can faintly make out some mold on it. Mm. Interesting. Oh, I got something else up. I think we 
dead old lady. Go back. And, uh, get the heck out of this area, because it is skellies. Before we end the episode, today, um, I'm actually just going to take the shortcut and jump down. Um, we're going to do, though, pure white tendency event in one World 1-1 one, one Voltaric Pass. Heck yeah. All right. Let's uh level up a bit. Thou seeketh so then touch soul of the mind keep so i want ether. to now that we're pretty low level soul i want to level up drawn from its vessel um our Let hp be granted so the world might be mended to 10 so the world our strength to 11 do our hp good there 11 11 12 and because we're going to start pumping after we reach uh, a certain point, we're going to put all of our souls into intelligence and magic. Art thou done? Me Thank you. Okay. Now, let's see if we can upgrade our. That's quickly. simple. And trade with your soul. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see if you can upgrade our Crescent Falchion. No interest, eh? I can tell. I don't think you can, unfortunately. It's some interest with yours. No, but we can upgrade the scimitar. No interest, eh? I can. All right. It's okay, though. Hello again. I'm keep. Men of God. Oh, that's what we wanted to look at. We picked up the Talisman of God. A metal-crafted amulet which resembles the symbol of God used to cast miracles. To use miracles, you must be following must map. You must have learned the miracle, you must have memorized the learned miracle, and you must have talisman equipped. You have MP at required to cast the miracle. So you have a heart of gold. Yep. Don't let them take it. Now let's go back real quick. Now that we have the Crescent Falchion, we should be able to beat our White Tendency event. Are you begging for a match? Um, I thought I. Hmm. Okay. I see. Chris, Sweet we are uh, upped our magic, but that's okay. We'll just go back and go back to World One One. And, uh, hopefully beat. This event. Lord Rydell with the Phosphorus Pole. That's going to be our endgame weapon, I think. I'm feeling it. But remember... I said we couldn't, uh, to the left over here, it wasn't open at the beginning of the game. Well, now that we're in pure white tendency, and I'll show you the chart after we kill this guy. Look at all that damage. Wow. Okay. This gate's gonna be open. Uh... Are we not at pure white yet? No! We have to be two bosses? This gate should have been open by now. I guess, um... 
I have to beat the second boss in this area. That sucks. Okay, so if I... We'll do that after we beat the uh, World 1-2 boss. But after we go in this area, you can see all the goodies. This has to be pure white tendency for it to be uh, open. And if I look at... It looks like Boltaria is white. It doesn't... It looks like it's pure white, but I guess I have to beat another boss. I've always come back. Let me know if you've ever experienced this, if you've played Demon Souls, if this gate wasn't open. Um, but it should be pure white right now. I don't understand. Anyway, let's go back to the Nexus, um, end the episode, and then we're just gonna go in the next episode to, uh, World 1-2, and, uh, get through that and beat the boss then. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and let me know if you were able to ever, if that's ever happened to you, because this should be pure white tendency. But uh, let me know in the comments below. In the next episode, we're going to go to World 1-2. Again, thanks so much for watching. Take care.